Hi everybody, this is Bave, Clerical Vision, just having a cup of tea on this beautiful sunny um, evening here on Wednesday. <coughs> it's been an absolutely beautiful day, um, like, a, like a summer's day here in Scotland. Um, what are we on now? The 8th of September. And it's been absolutely gorgeous, sun shining, <coughs> hot or warm, whatever, you know, it's probably freezing if you're in Australia, but um, boiling if you're in Scotland and probably warm if you're somewhere in some parts of uh, Europe or America. But anyway, I'm here because this um, is another <coughs> VCLT video. This came in the mail today finally delivered. Um, it was meant to be here yesterday but for some reason it didn't come yesterday. Um, however, it's here now and uh, now this is, this is kind of like I believe um, it to be a double VCLT um, because there is stuff in here from two of my dear American friends um, whom I guess you could say I probably regard you both as brothers in, in a way. Um, you're just top class uh, people. <coughs> um, I love your channels. Um, they've been in the VC themselves for a wee while as well and most of you will probably know who they are. Um, so this came, the box came from Florida and it's from Tim at High Noons Vinyl and um, also I believe within this box is another box with uh, containing a couple of things maybe from Rob at Black Star Vinyl. Um, I know Rob's had some stuff I think because we, we talked about it a while ago and I'm going back months um, but you know <coughs> it's just um, Things have got in, in the way of people's lives and stuff like that as well. So um, I knew he would have it aside. Um, and finally, um, <coughs> they managed to uh, find an opportunity to get the stuff out. And honestly, again, as always, I say, you don't need to do this, guys. Um, but I'm, I'm super grateful that you think about me. Um, <coughs> but I think the reason Tim sent me something... Um, is basically because I asked him to look out for um, one of the record store day releases for me. Um, I think it was the first drop um, this year and it was the Def Leppard Live in Oxford 1980. Um, the vinyl, it was being released on vinyl. Um, obviously I have it on the CD set that came out <coughs> um, last, was it last year? I'm, I'm not confused with what years, what these days, it sometimes feels like I've missed a year but you know um, and sometimes it doesn't but anyway um, so I asked um, a couple people in the VC if they could maybe keep an eye open for this for me because I was not sure just how easily or hard it was going to be for me to try and get a hold of it myself um, and right enough uh, Tim was one of those people um, he succeeded in uh, grabbing a copy for me um, which I am eternally grateful because it means a lot to, to have this on vinyl um, and he was so kind about it um, I was going to pay the money for him and he says no no didn't be silly You're, you don't owe me anything and so thank you that was super kind um, great great uh, gesture um, and, and here's this box, so um, I don't know exactly all what's in it. Um, as I say, the, there should be two sets of things in here. Um, so I'm, I'm going to stop rambling and get on with it again, because you know what, this could be another half hour episode if I'm not careful. So let's get going. So I've, I've pre-opened the top, I've got rid of all the tape and sticky labels and things, so there's a, a note here right on the top, and I don't know... <coughs> It says no spoilers, so I can read this now. That's cool. Um, <coughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, ex 
excellent. Um, yes, brilliant. So uh, it's a quick note from uh, Tim and saying, yeah, there's a few things here from both him and Rob, so um, no spoilers. So awesome. Let's just dig in and see what there is. So there's obviously, a, I'm going to try not open here. Um, there's a bit of cardboard, nice stiff piece of card. Um, okay, so this could be the other box. Let me just, yeah, this could be the other box. So. <coughs> um, I don't care whether to open this. We'll just, we'll just go with this. Yeah, we'll just go as it is. Um, what the heck? He's put this in. Right, this, this is this is it. <coughs> This is the one I had asked them for, and he very kindly managed to super pack this amazingly. So here it is. Finally got my hands on this vinyl copy, um, and that's Steve's guitar, by the way, just in case you weren't sure. It is Steve. Um, <laughs> so it is dubbed when the walls came tumbling down at the New Theatre, Oxford, 26th of April 1980. Um, that was three days after Steve's 20th birthday, uh, and it's a double album. And I asked Tim if he would mind just splitting the shrink and taking the vinyl out because I was frightened of seam splits, especially with it coming a, a quite a long journey. So um, he's got that one in our sleeve with band members there. So um, yeah, I mean, that's got. A list of the tracks, which is kind of cool. Um, and it looks like on the inside. No, no, no. That's. Hang on. I'm going to remove the shrink now, so we can fully view this gatefold. Um, now that it's here. Uh, so it's universal music. Um, Bludgeon Reforma and. The inner gatefold is a collage of really old pictures. I'll try to get this in here, that's better. Um, of the band's early days um, with Pete Willis as well, obviously. Um, Coley stuff. And the other inner sleeve. <coughs> There's the man himself. Uh, and. That's Sav the bass player, so um, they don't seem to have a picture of Pete on the inner sleeves, which is hmm, slightly not brilliant. <coughs> These are very much part of the band at this point as the rest of them, so. <coughs> but yeah, that's that. Excellent. Super, super cool. I'll put that there. And here's the actual records. Oh, lovely. Oh, beautiful. I think they're obviously 180 gram. They feel like it. Oh, and he's, he's put them in these beautiful lo-fi kind of sleeves. Tim, you're absolutely amazing. Nothing but the best treatment right enough. And the um, the labels are kind of done in uh, kind of like the, the vintage uh, look of the, the red label from their original EP from, uh, what was it, 79 it was released. Um, so yeah. Uh, how do I get this out here? Oh, like so. Here we go. So, yeah, it's definitely 180 gram. Um, lovely stuff. So, there we go. I'll just show you the one because they're both the same. So, that's fantastic. I'm so excited. And I'm looking forward to playing this. Oh, that's just wonderful. Honestly, Tim, thanks so much for getting a hold of one of these. I was just not sure if I'd get one here or not. So, um, more stiffeners. We'll pop that there. Right, what else? We've got more stuff in here. Um, there's some bubble wrap. It's just filling up the box, I think. Um, so, more stuff. What have we got? I think you've packed this amazing. Uh, <laughs> so, what's, what's the point of what this is? Oh yes! Oh now I remember you showing this band in one of yours, if, I, if I'm correct, uh, within the fire. Now, I might get this wrong, are they British? I can't remember. 
Um, but I know they're kind of traditional style heavy metal, if, if I recall correctly, because I think I made a note somewhere. I've got so many bits of paper scribbled about in drawers with band names on them. Um, I really have to organise it better, but yes, oh, look at the artwork. Is that just cool or is that just cool? Sorry about the glare there. Um, so this is Within the Fire and Still Burning. Wow. Oh my god, it's actually signed. There's a signature here in silver. Can you see that, guys? So that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so we have a in our sleeve, and that's obviously the band members here. Fantastic. And lyrics and credits. Super. This is on Animated Insanity Records and European distribution by No Dust Records. Not familiar with that at all, actually. Um, so, yes. Superb. So, um, I'm quite excited, I have to say, to be listening to this as well. And here is the vinyl. He's put it in a sleeve again. What a lad. Look at that, it's got the custom sleeve as well, so that's fantastic. Looking forward to that as well. What a great, great stuff. <coughs> um, fantastic, yes. Oh, what can I say? I just love getting my records. It's just one of these cool things with more stuff. Let me see. Oh, this could be the other box. Aha! For me, I just want to check. I think that's, that's that. So, um, yep, I'm just going to remove this now. So, um, and this must be the stuff from Rob. Yep, it is, because um, his name is on the back. Now, excuse me while I. <laughs> Break in with the silly tape and all that jazz. So here goes nothing. I tell you what, you guys didn't have to use some tough silly tape because it's quite hard to cut, isn't it? It must be that kind of scotch tape stuff, industrial strength. And because my scissors are so blunt, it's not the easiest. Talk amongst yourselves, please. While I break into this, I will get there. Just, uh, I'm trying to find a break in an entry point, point of entry, shall we say? There we go. I broke the seal. I'm just going to do that and get along here. Super um, stiff stuff, this really is. <coughs> well, there we go. Well, if I can just bring that along. And get the scissors under here. So I can just, yeah. And right, so I just need to pull back this tape now, and hopefully, 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 we're in. Uh, one second, <laughs> not quite, almost. End as well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hang on. <coughs> right. I think we're just about 
should know who this guy is, Michael Sweet, uh, the Striper Connection, excuse me a minute, um, so that's cool, um, I have it's autographed as well, how brilliant is that, that's fantastic, <clears throat> I am aware um, of, well what I'm trying to see here is I have sampled one or two of his um, own things, um, I know he's just recently released an album as well, which has got a lot of uh, praise. And also something, is it with one of the boys for uh, LA Guns, was it Tracy Guns? Um, <clears throat> recently as well. So I know this guy's very um, active at the moment and he does a lot of good stuff. So um, I'm uh, really excited about this one. Uh, one Sided War, it looks like it comes in a slip case. Let's just check. Yeah, slipcase. So there's the actual. Ah, oh, it's got a nice, cool. Um, the all new release from Michael Sweet of Striper and an eye. Deluxe dual case version, sixteen page. So it's kind of um, that's a pretty cool kind of hype sticker on that as well. That's excellent. So yes, very excited to listen to that one. One sided one. Twenty sixteen, fantastic. And that is autographed as well. That's magic. Thank you very much, Rob. And there's another CD in here, I think. Um, I felt like a CD. And we have... Hang on a minute. There's more than one in here, I think. Oh, my heck. Blimey. <clears throat> right, let's see what we've got. Within Temptation. That's good because they're another band that I'm just barely new to and I've just recently received a couple from Matt Weir in recent times. He sent me over a couple. Um, so here's another one, Within Temptation and Enter. Uh, the Dance. Hang on. The Dance. Is it, so what is... Ah, is it a double thing? Or? Enter and the Dance. Okay. Could this be, I don't know, some kind of EP or, yeah, it kind of looks like that actually. I need to look it up properly to find out exactly what it is, but, yeah, it looks like there's about, one, no, no, hang on, one, two, three, four, so this could be, it's like an album and an EP maybe, I'm not 100% sure, I could be talking through a hole in my head here, um, but yeah, it does say on the disc, Enter and the Dance, so it's some kind of double thing, but that's mega cool, um, so awesome, then we, oh yes, fantastic, Striper and Reborn, he did say, I, I do, we did talk about Striper a lot, and he did say he had a few duplicates that he was going to send over. I um, have not heard anything for this one, so I'm interested to hear what this one's going to be like. Opens out like so. I think it folds right out, actually, this one. Oh, I it folds out like that. Okay, cool. So there we have it. Um, yeah, I've not really got much of a clue about this one at all, um, but I'm very interested to hear. And Fallen from Striper. Uh, oh, just the excellent stuff. I absolutely love the artwork on that. Fantastic. I do have this one. Yeah, I think that was... Yeah, um, I have got this one. But don't worry, because it will be going... Um, to a good home. Um, I can pass this one on, I'm sure. Um, 
Yeah, that that was one of their um, recent four, I think. Um, and I really I like this album a lot, but it was really hard to get. Um, and and these will be the backs. So that's the back for Fallen. There, fantastic. Uh, Reborn, superb. And this will be the Within Temptation. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know. It's 13 tracks in total, the way they've got this. Um, I'll read up on it and that'll tell me exactly what it is. But yeah, that's really cool. Super. Um, Try not to look here. Well, I think this is another one. Plum and neck. Oh, it's another within temptation. Cool. Hydra or Hydra. Very cool. Nuclear Blast 2014. Another one um, I'm not familiar with, so I'm very curious about this one too. Featuring Howard Jones. That's not the Howard Jones from the 80s, is it? Maybe not. But this is a nice um, digi, double disc. Disc 1, disc 2. There's a lot of tracks on it. Um, featuring Tara. I know Tara. So there's a couple of uh, guest singers by the looks of things on here as well. I was just reading the back. So that's excellent. Another very cool uh, CD to listen to. Yep, Nuclear Blast. I've just seen, I've just seen the writing on this record here. And this, this is exciting. Uh, this is quite cool, I have to say. Um, it did say, he talked about this as well, <coughs> and I think he rates this as one of the better ones of, uh, or one of the, the, his favourites, I could be wrong, it's been a while Rob, of the earlier stuff from Striper, and this is Soldiers Under Command, um, there's the record, fantastic, I'm really excited because I don't have anything of the early kind of 80s kind of striper stuff. Um, I've heard a couple of tracks, but it's been a while, but I've just never managed to get a hold of an actual record um, that was in kind of good... I've seen, um, you know, the most famous one, To Hell With The Devil. Is that the one? No, that's 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 the recent one, or is it? No, it isn't. That's to help. With, aye, the one with the cover that got banned and they changed the cover that for some reason. Um, that one, um, I've seen it around a couple of times, but it's never been in great condition when I've seen it. Um, but I haven't really seen any of the others, so this is cool. Um, I'm really pleased to get this. <clears throat> Nineteen eighty-five. Enigma, so yes, lovely stuff, and I think it's just oh. It does have a generic plain kind of inner sleeve, but there's also a, a sheet in here as well. Hang on. I think. I, I'm sure I saw it. There it is. <laughs> there is the uh, lyric sheet, so that's very cool. And the record. Well, it's on Enigma. Yes, there we are, people. That's absolutely wonderful. I am super pleased. To finally get a hold of some early striper and I can and I think is that let me just check to um yeah that's that is it just making sure so fantastic um oh I'm I'm absolutely delighted with this lot as well thank you guys I'm really excited to listen to all these dun, 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 dun. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. That's better, isn't it? Yes. So, thank you very much, Rob, for all of these interesting goodies. Definitely, um, I'll uh, definitely get that one off, um, but I certainly don't have the others. Uh, and the Michael Suite as well. That would be really cool in here. Um, just, that's amazing. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> People are just so kind. And Tim, you honestly didn't need to say anything else, but thank you. I'm quite excited about this, I have to say. Yep, I remember, um, I do remember seeing this in your video, so definitely going to be getting spun soon. 
and honestly I, I can't thank you enough for um, going out your way to get this I'm, I'm just super delighted to have it um, so yeah you're just too kind guys I'm gonna leave a link below um, to both Tim and Rob's channels and if you haven't subscribed then you should be a subscriber because they're both fantastic lads um, really nice genuine people amazing record collections um, Rob has got so many kind of rock metal bands that the rest of us don't know about but he knows about them um, and he's got a lot of familiar stuff as well that everybody loves Tim he God, he likes everything. He, he's, he's dance, rap, uh, techno, um, R&B, jazz, blues, metal, rock, pop, the whole shooting works. He's, he, he's across the board. So um, his taste is very, very wide. wide. So um, do check them out, guys. Um, and as I say, I'm super pleased to get all this. Uh, and thanks again and I'll see you all in another video um, and take care. Bye for now.